Hey, how's it going guys? Atlantis here, and today we're going to take a quick look at Endgame in this stage of Early Access and some areas to focus on if you want to improve your max level characters, how to prep for future content, and some additional items to farm. I do enjoy connecting with all of you through Wayfinder. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and let's get started. By now you've figured out that you have plenty to do in Wayfinder, whether it's leveling up multiple characters, progressing through quests, finishing the main story, and running zones for all sorts of items. This video is geared for those who have at least one level 30 character and want to continue upgrading your power even after you've finished the main story sequence for early access. I want to give a quick shout out to Historia who commented on the previous video about doing the last two expeditions on Sphere 4 for really good level 30 plus items and other increased resource drops. You'll want to progress through all spheres of the Hollow Heart expedition in Reaverwoods. At first, it might be a little challenging, but as you pick up some level 30 accessories and some higher level echoes from doing this, you'll notice some big power spikes in your character. I'd still recommend making sure to use the Chalice party buffs, and try to stick with your team if you're not using voice chat. It's really easy for your party to get split up, and if someone gets caught solo, they could potentially get knocked out. You can see some of the loot drops and various items including tons of memory fragments. This particular run gave at least 999 memory fragments, maybe more, and a ton of other resources, echoes, and relics. Here are some examples of accessories you could find. You'll notice there are relics that are higher than level 30, allowing you to stock up on items you can use once the level cap is increased during a future content drop. Here are some examples of the echoes you could potentially find. They are expensive in capacity costs, but also very powerful. One thing to note about accessories you might not have noticed is that each accessory drops with its own random roll of echo slot types. You could have two of the same exact item but with two entirely different echo slot types, which is very important when trying to maximize your build with very specific echoes. You can see here we have a few of the same item but with different slots for most of them. Hollow Heart Expedition can also be a great source for gold, with chests dropping more than usual, Loot goblins dropping a ton of imbuements or gloomstones, and easier access to red gloomstones, which are worth a good bit of gloom shards. You should also be doing the Bone Orchard on Sphere 4 as well, since it has similar drops to Hollow's Heart, providing you with a massive amount of memory fragments, imbuements, echoes, relics, and other materials. Doing these Lost Zones is probably one of the best ways to farm from gloomstones for your character, alts, or future upgrades. Also, be sure to do the Dread Legion on Sphere 4 to farm for higher level drops unique to this boss. Much like Hollow Heart, you can get some pretty good accessories and echoes out of this dungeon. Accessories and echoes drop from a wide range of sources and lost zones. Going back and doing specific hunts on Sphere 4 could still be beneficial as there are also consumable patterns you need to find as well as housing patterns. For example, Grand Deceiver Maris could potentially drop the Grand Deceiver's artifact for your housing offering you a unique bonus. I have seen reports of it dropping on Sphere 1 but I'm not sure myself. Let us know in the comments if you're one of the lucky ones who have found this particular pattern. Alternatively, you can continue to work on farming resources to craft weapons, summon new wayfinders, or even visit your apartment. So if you're looking for ways to push your power level or things to do to stay busy, make sure to check out Hollow Heart and Dread Legion, revisit some previous bosses on Sphere 4, and hunt for rare housing items such as the Grand Deceiver chest. I hope this is helpful, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.